So they say never meet your heroes. You ever wonder why they say that? Cause what happens if you meet them and they're an a-hole? All right, let's kick things off with Ashley Johnson. So I actually met her at the Alex Wasabi versus iDubbbz boxing match. I'm in the crowd, I'm about 10 rows back and I'm with my friend and her boyfriend. And we're mid conversation and he interrupts us. He's like, that's Ashley Johnson right there. Where? Right over there. Who's Ashley Johnson? She's in this TV show I watch and she's the voice of Ellie on Last of Us. How can you tell, dude? It's the back of her head. I know the back of that head. Anywhere. Are you gonna go say something to her? No, she is the queen. All right, if you're not gonna go say nothing to her, I am. So then I walk over and I'm like, are you Ashley? Yes. Are you down for a quick selfie? I'd love to. All right, I'm gonna give Ashley a 100 out of 10. She was lovely. If you see her, Ask for that picture. Let's do Jeezy. See, when you meet rappers, they're a little bit of a different kind of celebrity. They usually have their guard up. You know, most rappers talk about drugs and guns and money, and they don't know who you with. So they can be a little awkward sometimes. Me and my boy Mel go to this YouTube party. Jeezy walks in. Mel freaks out. Me and Mel go over. I start talking to him. I'm like, hey, Jeezy, is it cool if my boy gets a picture real quick? Jeezy's like, eh. And as Mel walks up next to him, this is what Jeezy does right here. He just takes out his phone and... I don't know if this dude was listening to a voice memo, fake taking a call, I don't know what he was doing. So just based off of that interaction, not Jeezy as a person, but just based off of that interaction, I'm gonna have to give Jeezy a two out of 10. <laughs> About 10 minutes later, Ludacris and Lorenz Tate walk in. Now, I'm a huge Ludacris fan. I don't want to mess up the image I have in my head of Ludacris, so I kind of want a picture, but just let me go over and say, what up? So I walk past Luda and I'm like, he's like, what up, man? Keep it pushing. And I walk over to Lorenz Tate. Hey, bro, I'm a huge power fan up until that last season, but can I get a picture? He was like, yeah, you can get a quick picture. So I take out my phone to do a selfie and he's like, nah, nah, nah. We're grown men. Grown men don't do selfies. Hand that camera off to somebody else. Lorenz Tate, I'll give him a 10 out of 10. Very cool, dude. Next, let's do the cast of Stranger Things. I'm at the premiere. We binge watched the first two episodes in the movie theater. Then there's the after party. All right, guys, we just finished the screening. Um, and now we're, we're off to the after party. London is my plus one. You ever been out dancing someplace and you're the only person on the dance floor? It's one of those situations, right? Everybody's too cool to dance, but apparently me and London, we're not that cool. So we're out there in the middle of the dance floor by ourselves like Then I see her eyes get real big. I turn around and guess who's standing right directly behind me? Millie Bobby Brown. I turn around, start talking to Millie, and then the whole cast pops up out of nowhere, like from a portal from the upside down. And I'm looking at London like, are we in another dimension right now? Like this is a movie that we're in. So a circle forms on the dance floor and then London instantly jumps into it. And then she is just tearing it up. And then Noah Schnapp comes over to me and he was like, bruh, did this girl come with you? And I'm here like, London is no longer here with me. I'm now her plus one. And I'm like, yep, that's my friend London doing London things as usual. Bro, she can dance. Kayla McLaughlin is there, we're talking. We actually met a few months before this at another party. All right, so let's get some ratings here. I'm just gonna rate the top three people based on my interaction, okay? So number three, we're gonna go to Gaiden. He seemed to really appreciate his fans. Let's give him a 10 out of 10. Number two, we'll give it to Noah. We'll give him a 15 out of 10. Very cool dude. And the homie Caleb, we're gonna give him a 20 out of 10. Back to the Future cast, should we do them? I'm subscribed to the Back to the Future newsletter. I check my email one day on the newsletter. They're like, Christopher Lloyd, Leah Thompson, and Michael J. Fox for the first time this decade. And they're all going to be here at Silicon Valley Comic Con. Boy, I bought that ticket the next day. Michael J. Fox was charging like $250 for his autograph. Got up to him, got his autograph, but it was such like, a, it was a conveyor belt. So you didn't really get to talk to him. Then I went over to Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc. He was charging like $80. I got to speak to him. Really cool dude, but it was a little weird because he was a little too cool, you know? Uh, listen, Back to the Future has been one of my favorite movies since I was eight years old. And every time I watch it, I never realized, but Doc, he is like over the top. There, there's a bomb! The Libyans are trying to kill me! Marty! 1.21 gigawatts! Like he's always yelling and I never realized that. So to meet him finally, why are you acting? Weird, bro. Yell at me or something. I'm kidding. Christopher Lloyd was a really cool dude. We'll give Doc a 10 out of 10. Okay, next up, let's do Miles Garrett. Met Miles, I think it was on Instagram during COVID. So I hit up Miles, I was like, hey, when's a good time for me to come through and see a game? 
this date, and this date. Pull up. So I fly to Cleveland to watch him play. Racing away and he's sacked again! Miles Garrett! We chop it up. The next day he's like, hey, I got courtside seats for the Cavs. You want to go watch? So I'm like, psh, yee! We get to this Cavs game, y'all. Imagine being courtside at a basketball game. The entire stadium starts chanting, Miles Garrett! Pfft, 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 pfft. We walked to like this VIP concession stand and walked back and this lady saw us and she like held up her baby against the glass like, take my baby! Other dudes were like, take my girlfriend, take me! Imagine you play for the Cavs, right? And you're at the foul line about to take your free throws and all of a sudden you hear, Miles Garrett! Pfft. They're cheering for a dude who is not playing and is sitting in the crowd. I'm just waiting for them to throw us on the Jumbotron and be like, Look, we have Miles Garrett here. Look at this little kid next to him. Oh my God, he brought a Make-A-Wish kid to the game. Miles is so awesome. Okay, let's maybe talk about the game. There's three seconds left and the game is tied in triple overtime. Man, forget the game. It's all about Miles and this little homeless kid that he clearly flew in from Indonesia. Come on, guys, let's get the chant going again. And me and Miles have a very epic Lord of the Rings level Hunger Games type rock, paper, scissors tournament going on right now. It's ongoing. Miles, who is the rock, paper, scissors champion? Oh, who is the champion? Me. I'm gonna give Miles, hmm, Miles, what are we gonna give you? We're gonna give Miles a 850, one of the coolest, most hardworking dudes I've ever met. I think that's a good spot to end it. Yeah, let's end it here. Should we do YouTubers on the next one? Should we do YouTubers? Let me know. Mm.